Oh, man. Oh. I have my head under the quilt. Oh. Got right quick. Good morning. From Four Pines. Have a good one, dude. Yes, sir. I'm <clears throat> not sure he's the guy that needs to be in charge of a hostel. Right, they gonna find out. They gonna find out for me for somebody else. So. Honestly, I was kind of stressing out this morning because I was feeling so good, ready to hike, and Bob's feeling so bad. Not feeling good at all. I don't know if it's the antibiotics or the Lyme. But yeah, ever since I walked in yesterday morning, that dude just started in on me. I don't know, felt rude or just negative energy. And this morning, over my first cup of coffee, that's when it hit the fan. I'm not always the easiest person to get along with. Man pretty open about that and my mental health. Big part of the, the reason why I'm out here. But um, yeah, I understand there's other people like that too. And it's not uncommon for me to butt heads with them. All right, back on trail, headed north. There's a little water source of the day. Guess I better be responsible and check them out. Make sure I got some more today. Cows everywhere. These cows ain't scared. How y'all doing today? This is a new uh, new development. I've been loving this thing, but didn't want to stay tight today. 
All right, take two. This morning kind of caught me by surprise. Not expecting that. Oh, Bob's doing okay. I called him a couple times. He said he wasn't feeling good right before I had to leave. Oh. This would be a nice spot to stop and eat lunch on a hot day. spot up here, an off trail spot. Ooh, dope spot for a fire. Like this little side trail goes all the way down the ridge. A little mini dragon's tooth. Oh yeah, if I come back to Virginia, I'm gonna do a little section and camp out up here. See if I can have me a little fire in this little nook. Oh, that would be nice.
McAfee Knob Trailhead Shuttle. Didn't realize I was so close to McAfee's Knob. Dope, might be today. Finally seeing some folks out on trail. The weather's amazing. Probably one of the most popular spots in Virginia. Anticipation is real. And so that that other trail, that fire road, would have led to McAfee's Knob, but um, yeah, it wasn't the Appalachian Trail. Just a wider trail, I believe. That we uh, figured that out before I got too far along. Realized I ain't seen no blaze in a minute around a spot like this. You imagine blazes would be everywhere. So we still got like three, 3.4 miles. Kind of a bummer to hit Dragon's Tooth and now McAfee without, McAfee's not without Bob. I didn't know he was gonna get off that day I went up Dragon's Tooth until later on in the evening. Kind of thought he'd meet me up there that night or the next morning. And then I uh, had to leave out of Four Pines early today, so nowhere else to go but hiking north. Only got food for two days. So. Bummer. It's like a couple of shelters before we get to McAfee's Knob. Have a spot to get some water. And uh, yeah, I think I might just carry some water up there and cowboy camp on the knob if I can. Pulled in to hit the water source down here. Uh, two night camp, no, that's the two night camping limit. I don't know what the name of this shelter is. John Spring Shelter. Okay, came down here to hit the water source, but just realized the next shelter up has a water source. So that's what we're gonna collect. I was definitely not enjoying myself when I was up here in 2020 at all. I was having serious knee pain. Like I said in the last videos, like different pain on the inside to my knees, but it was that and it like, like a late withdrawal wave. That stuff, it, it takes a really long time for opiates to get, like it doesn't take that long for them to get out of your system, but for your hormones to start acting normal again, that takes a really long time. shelter it's like they got a fire over there it's uh whoa since i uh plan on cowboy camping up at the knob tonight and catching the sunset got some time to kill let's do it it's all the shelter looks like some folks is doing it right over here oh, what's up guys that little spot y'all got So this is my resupply from yesterday. It was about 15 bucks. A couple things were already in there, like the gas, this Quest Bar, and these mango things that Mr. and Mrs. Smith gave us. The Tums, the beef jerky, 
all the rest of this I got yesterday at Kroger's for 14, 14 something. Two ramen noodles, go with one pack of munchies, that's a solid meal. Two more ramen beef flavored, but these Japanese style chili peanuts, or what, chili lime flavored peanuts, absolutely amazing. I had two of them, but I already started eating them. Amazing. Extra munchies. Bob gave me this Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch. These are dank. So yeah, that's like two and a half. I could make three days out of it if I needed to, but we'll probably get back into town around like Daleville, I think, in like 20 miles, maybe. That was a nice little shelter. Drank two liters of water. Got a little under a liter to cook with tonight. Met some cool people over there. They're from Ohio, just doing a little section. Guys, McAfee's knob. <sighs> How you doing? A beautiful day. Mini knob. <laughs> hmm. Might do some more exploring down there later. About time to get a meal inside me. A lot more people out today than when I was here in 2020. I got someone to take some sweet pictures of me, so that's cool. I'm 
think these people are camping out up here. I'm not positive. I'm hoping I can uh, cowboy camp right over there if there's room. If this many people sleep up here, I'm gonna have to find another spot to sleep. Finally got it to myself for a few minutes. Amazing up here. Y'all are wild, guys. Wild. <laughs> Look at them down there. There's more of them. Goodness. I think they're gonna make it. <laughs> Looks like we're about to have us a nice little sunset. Might be behind the trees a little bit, but it's still gonna be really pretty. If you guys want a group picture, everybody, I'll, I'll get one of y'all standing out there. I get a uh, airdrop it, or I could use one of y'all's. It's up to y'all. Uh, well, no, that's the point of me getting it, so I could get y'all from like over here. I guess technically we could set a timer, but I think this is like the iconic spot, so you look like you're like kind of hanging off right there. You know what I mean? I got up here at the perfect time. Yeah, so for a golden hour. <laughs> oh, I already actually had some people earlier and we went back and forth, but uh, I appreciate that. If y'all wanna, like, most people, like, sit on the edge with their feet off. Uh, That's. I'm glad to be that picture was yeah, you ever seen the guys that have the te that the, um, the little campers they put on like the side of the mountain? You know the ones they hit them with. Oh, oh that is crazy. And they sleep like that? Those people are straight crazy. Yeah, those guys are. Yeah. This is my little nook for the night. It had someone with a hammock right over there. I thought they might stay. A couple other people walked up here with sleeping bags. They said they were staying, but uh, I don't know where they went. <clears throat> it was definitely a popular spot today. I got my stuff laid out right here just to kind of help protect my quilt from all the rocks. 
Got my uh, trash bag over here, halfway out. Again, just to protect the quilt. And it's nice and cozy. Nice and cozy up here. It's a um, little windy, but I'm plenty warm in the quilt. So. Bummer Bob wasn't here today. I was uh, really on my mind heavy. I really kind of wanted to hang back with him at least for a day and see what was going on. We had talked about him possibly slack packing the 15 he has left uh, Fort Pines today and then me and him would hike out of Fort Pines this evening, but it didn't work out like that. Um, he wasn't feeling good at all today and, and, me and me and the guy over there at Fort Pines had a little dispute, so I'm not going to... <clears throat> I'm not gonna blame it on him. I'm sure it was just as much my fault as it was his, but we just, you know, don't agree with uh, each other, I guess. Our, uh, I think our personalities are just too much alike, honestly. But, you know, it's a lovely place. Uh, the lady is extra sweet. I definitely recommend it. Definitely check it out if you're passing through. <clears throat> 